Okay, so we are in part two of what I plan to do from now on. I said that my new goal, I will be leaving this guy, these guys, and those guys, and eventually I expect to move these guys to here. So I will retire this tank. And I hope at some point, uh, uh, to, uh, stop moving here from here and then move everyone from here to here because this colony is old enough I did everything without uh, adding uh, members from other tanks uh, for a while so I think I can integrate uh, hopefully I will be able to retire this and this I don't know, especially this one, I don't know how soon, because babies continue hatching, so uh, we will be. So all of them will be in maintenance level feeding, uh, because I don't need the colonies to grow more. So now the, uh, the question I had, I have uh, read of many brain shrimp slash sea monkeys uh, that have the uh, how is name the uh, the nitrogen cycle stable and the uh, ammonia levels are close to zero i was surprised i did not know that that was possible and until I find out this tank, uh, you can check in my other videos why I have this tank. And uh, uh, there we go. Uh, this had almost zero, and this is a very old tank actually. Uh, this was, I believe, the original tank that I had uh, when I did the video of the uh, sea monkeys and aqua dragons uh, that I follow for one week, two weeks, uh, four weeks, six weeks, and eight weeks. So, although this ha was producing, I was surprised. Uh, that, well, I already spoke about this. In other videos so you can check it out but the point is that this tank apparently went into the ideal nitrogen cycle and the and I know for a fact that I measure high levels of uh, ammonia levels long ago in this tank when I had uh, the the first generation sea monkeys that were weeks long before I moved them I believe in week uh, number 18 so it was close to zero actually I think it was zero uh, so somehow the nitrogen cycle started here uh, and became stable to keep the ammonia levels down I don't know the details I, well I suppose I have an idea what happened because I already read uh, on, on the uh, aquarium forums uh, how to recycle a tank to for uh, for the nitrogen cycle, but it's, it's uh, a few steps. Uh, so. The thing is that that happened here even when he had sea monkeys. Although at some point I removed more of them and uh, they were only juveniles. So uh, that is something I will be learning. Anyhow, this was an add-on. I was not planning to, uh, I did not know that this uh, tank was in the ideal uh, nitrogen cycle right now. And actually, uh, trying to, after the problem that I had uh, the juveniles uh, gone, uh, I decided to try 
uh, grow quickly food in here also a little bit no more than once a week so I suspect that the ammonia levels might have gone up but I will check that in, in the, uh, another point anyhow so I am using this tank as a reference because it's zero and then about three weeks ago I decided to set up this tank. Uh, the original purpose was uh, to answer someone's question that if there were eggs in the uh, eggs package, because uh, uh, there are definitely eggs on the uh, package number one and the water filter, but it's very difficult to find eggs in the package too. So I decided to answer the question and I started this tank without package number one. And lo and behold, there were not many. I only found three uh, uh, hatching from the eggs. I gave it uh, like a week and a half. Uh, but they, yes, they are <laughs> X uh, that barely the the minimal to to put the yes after egg in package number two it was done I was only able to find three uh, growing so eventually I added the package number one and that added a few more and as it has happened in other tanks this I think uh, this is already week number three and you can see that as uh, many people have reported I got that single sea monkey that I grew everyone else and she's hiding now come on uh, but you will see it she has eggs uh, is this one I believe it's that one okay and I know that she likes to be a lot in the bottom. I don't know why. I know that people have reported about that. So what I have done. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention that. That thing, that is a submersible uh, water tank here. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to, to keep this tank as ideal as I could. So that means from day one, I started using this uh, uh, submersible uh, tank heater. And uh, let me see if you can see, there we go. And you can see the temperature have been fluctuating between 79 and 83 degrees. That depends on the day and the environment outside. Ooh, that humidity is very low. So that means, uh, as you can imagine actually since i started three weeks ago i have been adding uh use this water i, I need to check i don't think it is have not been three weeks but uh at least a week and a half and i have been because the low humidity and the bubbling that you see here that is another thing i have been doing i have been doing uh, bubbling since day one when I dropped the X package I had this as maximum until I start saying babies as recommendation of some breeders and I have kept the the bubbling always going of course that means as you can see I had to put something to try prevent I will improve this later but this was a quick fix because I was getting salt all over around here and on all uh, the other tanks uh, as you can see uh, so the thing is that yeah high temperature the higher temperature uh, uh, the breeders recommend uh, close to 82 uh, Fahrenheit and you can do the conversion we look for the conversion to centigrade in Google did uh, improve ah, also uh, another thing that normally do not the other tanks do not have is that I already have in, because these were in tanks with algae already 
when I brought it here, algae started to get hold way faster. Normally it take uh, more than a month for algae to get hold in my tanks, but because this already had algae, it got hold uh, sooner. So I think that have uh, helped also. And this is the part that is different from the other tanks. I'm feeding these guys only two times a week because I'm trying to keep, uh, uh, I made sure, uh, the last measure I made of this tank, it had point, point 0.25 uh, in the uh, ammonia levels. So I have not checked since then. Uh, so what I'm trying is to see if I keep at maintenance level the uh, under maintenance level because I'm not doing the three day uh, three days per week. Actually, I'm doing two days per week, and actually one scoop I'm using. Uh, uh, number three, uh, the na name as Grow Food, and then the other day I do Grow Food to see if it helps somehow, and I keep it at that. I'm not doing using anything else. First of all, I suspect that the vitamins. Uh, Besides making the sea monkeys red, also it makes with time the the water kind of yellow. So I'm testing that here, and uh, so this has become. I will try to make it. Uh, besides uh, trying to, to keep a good nitrogen cycle, I have not had anything. I only using. Uh, the core things uh, with respect, I'm not adding bacteria. And I'm simply going with the natural flow of the core, the bare necessities. I think it will help uh, setting a stable colony that they will last a long time. I hope that it will be longer than the 35 weeks that I will be tracing that and uh, uh, the mention the nitrogen cycle the check if the, the longer oh yes uh, I will wait I plan to add a I have not added salt beside what comes with the food so I will add this but I will wait until they grow as big as they can grow at least I can uh, because uh, as you can see this is almost salt water and the size is smaller so is uh, I'm waiting until they grow not 10 days I'm waiting until it reach uh, the biggest size that I think they can they can reach okay so what else uh, okay so essentially I will be, I already mentioned what I plan to do with the other tanks and I plan to follow this tank and this tank uh, to see if I can keep the ammonia levels uh, as low as possible and see if it makes any difference for a stable colony. Okay, so now we go to part three. Essentially the tools. Okay, so you're in a bit.